Hello and welcome to another episode of Tech Talk here at tequipment.net. My name is Peter Stormer and I'm one of the technical sales managers here. Today we're going to be talking about insulation testers. They come in basically two varieties, analog or digital. And the importance between the two of them really has to do with the environment you're working in and whether or not you want to look at the actual readings or just kind of see where the needle points to know whether you have good insulation. Now, why is that important? Well, shorts may be good in the summertime, but they're not good in your wiring. When you have communication cables or process control cables, you want to make sure that you have the most integrity in the insulation, that there's no leaks or any corrosion happening to the wires themselves, which could cause damage and poor communications. Insulation is the jacket or sheath that goes around the wire that keeps information traveling through the wire itself and not leaking out or touching or communicating with anything else. Insulation is not infinite, it's not perfect, and there's no such thing as 100% insulation. There'll always be some leakage or some current coming through the wire to the jacket and outside. You want to minimize that to make sure that it doesn't affect anything else in your systems. Insulation testers will basically put a voltage through the wire and connect to the insulation jacket to look at the resistance of the properties of the jacket sheath around the wire. This will tell you if anything is interfering or possibly interfering with the wiring that you have in your system. When you're doing an insulation test, you can either do a spot test, which will put a voltage through the wire and take the resistance measurement right away, or you'll have to do a decay test, which will look at voltage over a specific amount of time. You can measure to see how strong the wire is by doing what's called a polarization index test as well. This will take the voltage and read your resistance measurements over a fixed amount of time. The importance of doing a test like this is if you've never done a test before, you can see how strong or how much integrity your insulation has. It is important that you do this on a regular basis and then chart or record what the insulation resistance values are because a decay over a fixed amount of time or over a period of time, if you do this say a monthly or even uh, annually, you will then see if there's possible reducing of integrity of your insulation. As with all different types of wiring, there's different types of meters to test the wiring. You can go with a low voltage system for things like home wiring, alarm systems or control systems, or even telecommunication wiring, such as high voltage wires and motor cables. The different types of units will range in strength from as low as 10 volts up to 10,000 volts or even higher. We have a variety of units here at T-Equipment that will cover these types of applications, whether you're doing, again, telecommunications, home wiring, industrial, motor coils, or power and cable. The units also have some other functions as well. We have units that are pure insulation testers or some that will actually include both a multimeter function as well as insulation testing so you can get the most bang out of your buck. Another feature that's often important to a customer is whether or not the unit has data logging. This way you can go ahead and generate your reports out of the system itself without having to write down all the measurements on your own. It's important to remember safety comes first. Never test a live circuit when you're using an insulation tester. Depending on the application you have, we have the solutions for you. Feel free to call me or any of the other technical salespeople here at tequipment.net. We're happy to help you and solve your problems.